I'd like to introduce Ms. Colleen Sauer, Senior Class Vice President. She will lead us in the Pledge of Allegiance, so please rise. There is a flag in the rear of the gymnasium. There is also a flag up here. Ms. Colleen Sauer. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. You may be seated. Please remain standing for the playing of the national anthem. going to uh, deviate slightly from the program and get myself in trouble probably just a little bit. Um, but tonight is about the graduates and certainly their accomplishments, but I do want to also take, just take a brief moment to recognize Principal Jack Fisher for his years of service to Finneytown and this secondary campus. For many of you know that Jack is moving on to, to a different role next year within the district and this will be his last official graduation ceremony. 
uh, I think for the last eight years. And so I, I want to personally to just take a moment to thank him for his mentorship and leadership of our school. Um, my years of knowing Mr. Fisher, he is passionate. Um, he's been a real true mentor to me in my development and in my career. I know he um, is passionate about his children, your students, his colleagues, and he has always put family and parent relationships first in his leadership decision making. So if you could please join me in a round of applause as he comes to the podium for his years of gratitude. He's right, I don't like surprises. I got one for him later in the program though. He doesn't know it. Welcome. As Mr. Kennedy said, it's the class of 2014. We're glad you're here. I know there's always a lot of angst in this community about graduation. Of course, the question, the important question is, are we inside or outside? The more it rained this afternoon, the smarter I looked. So <laughs> I, it scared me after, you know, we kind of had to make the decision yesterday. And I kept waiting for it yesterday, it never rained, never rained. We went, over, we went all night. First question this morning was, did it rain last night? Finally this afternoon, thank goodness that it rained. <laughs> Want to take just a couple of minutes and make just a couple brief and announcements before I introduce our podium. Uh, if you see us stalling a little bit, if you see us checking a cell phone or something like that, we kind of stalled even, everybody knows I like to start right at seven. We don't, we don't deviate for that. But most of you know, or if you don't know, we have a lot of kids in the regional track meet at Dayton today. And so even walking over, I'm getting text messages of, okay, Jayla just left. Shyla runs at this time. Uh, our valedictorian, you see the empty chair. That's not because no one wanted to sit next to me. We're, we're kind of stalling uh, because we'd like our valedictorian to give her speech tonight. So uh, if you see us checking cell phones or if we deviate uh, mildly from the program, uh, you know why we're doing that. I'd also like to uh, just take a second, our superintendent, is not here this evening, Mr. Overson. His son is graduating tonight uh, in the Columbus area. So I wanted to, uh, to let people know why he is not here this evening. It's a great night for him and he should be with his family and that's where he's at, at his son's graduation. So with those two things in the way, if you see somebody sliding in a, a side door or coming up on the podium, You'll know, I know that Shyla finished first in one of the events. You know, we live in a day, and Dave warned you about digital citizenship. I could just read you about 12 text messages over the half hour, and I can tell you how our folks are doing. But we're doing well in Dayton tonight, and we're glad for that. At this time, I'd like to introduce our platform guest. I would ask that each stand as their name is re uh, read so that you know who they are and they're important parts of our program tonight. First is Mr. Jim Dickerson, President of the Board of Education of Finneytown Local Schools. <laughs> Next is Ms. Anita Ruffin, Vice President of Board of Education. <laughs> Mr. Scott Harlemert, Board of Education member. Mr. Michael Matsko, Board of Education member. <laughs> Ms. Mrs. Cindy Redman, Board of Education member. <laughs> Filling in for Mr. Overson is Mr. Scott Gates. We've put him on the, on the spot tonight. He will give a speech in a minute. He's our Director of Student Services. Of course, you've met Mr. David Kennedy, assistant principal, soon to be principal of the secondary campus. 
Miss Megan Rivett, currently Dean of Students for another couple days. She will be Assistant Principal of the Secondary Campus. <laughs> Miss Carolyn Altoff is our faculty speaker for this evening. <laughs> Miss Rebecca Schneider will be here shortly. She's our valedictorian. Mr. James Reeb, or affectionately known as Eddie Reeb, will be our salutatorian. <laughs> Ms. Kimberly Freeman, Diamond Oaks Technology and Career Development Counselor. <laughs> Ms. Jenny Wimmers, our highest ranked vocational student. And Ms. Tammy Dietz, one of our class advisors, who will be reading the roll call tonight. There's a lot of work that goes into a night like this, and I'd be remiss if I didn't just take a minute and thank those, not only for all they do throughout the year, uh, but also for setting up tonight. I don't know about you, but I think the gym absolutely looks beautiful, and this is a great setting for a graduation. So I would like, if you're a staff member of the Finneytown Local School District, I want to thank you for your dedication to our students and our family and our community. I would ask that if you're an employee of the district in any capacity, please rise and be recognized. looking at me like, really? We got to get up? Really? <laughs> our counselors put a lot of work into our students. We're fortunate here. A lot of our students are here for six years. It takes a tremendous guidance department uh, to make sure that they're successful. You'll hear a lot uh, later on in the program about all the scholarships and some of the awards of this year, but I want to take just a minute and recognize our guidance department, Ms. Emily Stiles, Ms. Kathy Counts, Ms. Carolyn Aki Moore, and Ms. Janet Foster, who's not here this evening. And I do want to give props to our maintenance department. They worked very hard putting this all together. I want to make sure I mention each one of their names. Mike, Randy, Rich, Kenny, Rick, Kenny, Joe, and Pat, I want to give them a round of applause for all that they've done. Once again, I want to thank you for coming. Hope you enjoy the program. I'm going to introduce our Director of Student Services, Mr. Scott Gates. Thank you, Mr. Fisher. Um, tonight, I'm the substitute superintendent. Um, Mr. Olverson did want me to extend well wishes to the graduates and to the graduates' families um, as, a, uh, as a job well done. And as Mr. Fisher said, um, he is up um, in the stands at his son's graduation, just like you are. So uh, uh, hearty, hearty congratulations to uh, Mr. Olverson and his son. Graduates family members and staff, I'm delighted to be part of this triumphant celebration of accomplishments at the 52nd graduation ceremony at the Finneytown Secondary Campus. As I stand before you, I feel the positive, emotional energy filling this place as 102 graduates close one door and open another in life's journey. Graduates, if you're at all apprehensive about what lies ahead of you, Rest assured, knowing that you are ready. Your educational foundation is strong and that you will always be part of the Wildcat family. Parents, as you reflect today at your son's and daughter's successes, you may be thinking back to that first bus ride and how choked up you became as you watched them board the bus for kindergarten. Through the years, you have given them the support they needed to when the time came, you stepped out and let them move on their own to learn and to challenge themselves. You worked with the school system to help mold your young adults into future leaders I see before me here today. For that, 
you deserve a round of applause. Now, all of these years later, you are here because your children have mastered the academic skills required to graduate and head out in the world to make a life on their own. Meanwhile, graduates, you may be thinking back to the days when you forced yourself to get out of bed, to go to school, to attend practice or a group organizational practice when you really didn't want to, or when you felt too tired to finish your homework. But you did. Even though you may have grumbled at that time, inside you were thankful that your parents were standing behind you, encouraging you to tackle another school day or another activity. And once you arrived at school, you were grateful for teachers and school staff who cared about you, encouraged you, and were invested in your future. You realized that you must work hard to succeed, and you felt a sense of pride when you got that grade you were working for. You made a difference in a team victory. You hit all the right notes on a difficult piece of music. You remembered all of your lines in a school production, or most simply, somebody said, good job. Graduates, no matter how you arrived at this momentous event, it has taken discipline, persistence, and support. Family support, support coming from fellow students, support from the community, and support from schools. A teacher and family-focused co-founder, Bernice Weisbrook, said, the strongest as well as the most fragile family requires a vital network of supports. Finneytown is proud to have a part to be part of a vital network of social supports for every graduate here. We will always be here for you graduates, parents and community members constantly working to provide the highest quality education for each class of leaders of tomorrow. As you graduate graduate in 2014, you are heading into the real world during a time with financial challenges, political, environmental, and social challenges, but yet the opportunities have perhaps never been greater. You have been educated in a technological world, and you are the generation that will take technology to new and possibly unimaginable heights. I would guess many of you have already posted selfies on Instagram, correct? <laughs> I am optimistic that your generation will also bring solutions to many of the issues I described. So tonight, as you close the door behind you, visualize yourself opening a new door leading to new adventures. Armed with the strong public education you've obtained, you are undoubtedly eager and ready to tackle this new phase, whatever it might take you. For some, that will meet college or technical school. Some may head into the workforce, and some may opt to serve our country in the military. Whatever road you take, know that you will always have behind you the support of the entire Wildcat family. In exchange, our world will change as a result of your efforts. Efforts that will be determined by how you choose to follow your dreams. I challenge you to take risks, set goals, and continue your hunger for knowledge. Find ways to give back to the community and family that have given you so much. And also, don't forget the friends you have made who challenged you along the way. True friendship is a blessing, and they too are part of the family. In closing, I would ask the graduates to join me in a round of applause for the family members, friends, and faculty who helped them reach their milestone. Thank you. I am also honored to introduce our faculty speaker tonight, uh, Ms. Carolyn Altoff. Welcome families, honored guests, colleagues, 
in class of 2014. This week marks the event we've been planning, dreaming, and waiting for, Kim and Kanye's wedding. <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> On behalf of your teachers, from kindergarten to now, we're proud of you. You had a goal set on your first day of kindergarten back in the fall of 2001 to earn a diploma. Some of your years and or courses may have been easier than others. Some might have been more enjoyable. And you might have wished that some were avoidable. If you'll take a moment to think about the feeling of accomplishment that you have right now, that feeling exists because of the perseverance and work that it took for you to meet your goal. Remember this feeling and know that you can achieve it continuously all you, your life. All you have to do is set a goal, any goal. Once you set one and you meet it, you'll feel great about yourself and then you can do it again, anytime you want. If you ever doubt yourself, remember this very minute. You, and only you, have the power to refine yourself. As you continue to learn and have new experiences, remember that Finneytown has instilled within you the tools that you need to survive. Now it's up to you to choose to pull from your academics, your athletics, your community service, extracurricular activities, and the arts in order to evolve and thrive. As one of the visual art teachers, I must place emphasis on the plethora <laughs> of the experiences found in the visual arts, but I've been told I'm a bit biased. If we have left you with anything, I hope it's the ability to think differently, to think creatively, critically, and to solve problems. Some of you might be sitting there right now and thinking, but how am I supposed to do, know what to do with the rest of my life? Or what if I change my mind? Keep your eyes and your ears open for all of the new opportunities that are coming to you. Notice we keep saying the word opportunities. That's experience. That's code for I'll try it. If it works, that's great. If not, we'll call it experience. We all, every person in here, has taken chances and failed at something, and that's okay. You're allowed to fail at things. The trick is to keep trying, to persevere, and to keep working. You need to set those goals. You need to take risks. You need to be bold. Don't be afraid. After you get enough experiences under your belt, behind you, Take a look back, and you'll see that there's a golden thread that just seems to flow through and touch through most of those experiences. When you see that thread, acknowledge it, pull it, follow it. That's your path. I have great faith that each of you can make this world a better place and find fulfillment within in whichever path you choose to follow. As you do, remember those who helped you along your path. You persevered through difficulty and worked hard to get where you're sitting today, surrounded by people who love you and wish you well. In closing, as you sit in matching caps and gowns, remember that individuality is the key to your success. Thank you. At this time, I'd like to introduce our corral, led by Ms. Chelsea Lamping.
I wanted to invite Jack Fisher back to the podium as we take a moment to celebrate and present our valedictorian and salutatorian this evening. I will introduce each person. They will be awarded their medal of honor. Then both students will proceed to give their address to the, to the crowd. I present valedictoria, valedictorian, Miss Rebecca Snyder, who made it from the track meet. And our salutatorian, Mr. James Reeb. administration, faculty, and community members. I would like to say that I am very excited to be here in front of all of you, but I won't because that wouldn't be true. Would any of you honestly be able to say you would feel comfortable standing in front of hundreds of people dressed in a dorky robe to talk about life? As many of you already know, I was hoping to still be stuck at a track meet, but due to some mis misfortunate, mis unfortunate miscalculations and not enough traffic, here I am. As a valedictorian, I'm expected to give you advice for your transition into the next steps of your future. As you can imagine, that is a very daunting task. Sure, I could tell you to shoot for the moon or something as cliched and overused, but that would be boring, and I was supposed to make this interesting. It's your life, and I'm, a f I'm sure that a few words of wisdom from someone with very little life experience will make that much of a difference. Yes, uh, what, but what I can say is this. Do not take life so seriously. Yes, it can be difficult at times, but it's up to you to decide to move on and make things better. So don't ruminate on your failures, your mistakes, your insecurities. In 20 years, you're not going to remember the F you got in chemistry or what that one person said about you on Twitter. What you will remember are the moments that you spent enjoying your life. You'll remember the time that Brad Steinle scored a buzzer beater against Reading. <laughs> or the day that Shelby Metz put a goldfish on every desk in Mr. Muchmore's room. So remember your accomplishments and be proud of all the school records you broke or the leads you got in the school musicals. And finally, I'll leave you with one more word of advice. Some would say to find what makes you happy and pursue it with reckless abandonment. But we all know that pursuing what makes you happy is in the end an empty journey. Others would say that contentment lies in service, but service does not always lead to fulfillment. In the words of Oliver Segovia, true happiness lies in the intersection of what you love, what you're good at, and what the world needs. So there you have it. Congratulations, class of 2014, and good luck in all your endeavors. I'll share your I'm sure you Okay, uh, I guess you can all hear me. Okay. Thank you, uh, Mr. Fisher, for the introduction. Um, Good evening, Finney Town. I'm Eddie Reeb, and here is your salutatorian speech for this Thursday, May 29th. I'm excited to be here today to read my speech on the behalf of my class. When I began writing this speech, so many ideas came to my head that I didn't know where to start. So as the saying goes, I have so much to say and so little time in which to say it. After numerous attempts, a few glasses of chocolate milk, and a little frustration, I somehow managed to scribble down some thoughts to share with you all today. Like a pair of shorts that just meets the dress code, I'm hoping that my speech will be long enough to cover everything, but short enough to keep all of you interested. <laughs> On the topic of comedy, I'm pretty sure Joseph has realized by now that I'm not reading the speech that he drafted for me last semester. It was pretty tempting, but I decided to err on the side of caution to avoid 50 hours of community service. Let's just say there's a reason why Joe's the class clown. Seniors, we're almost there. It seems like just yesterday we were digging for dinosaur bones behind the big toy, exploring the catacombs of Cottonwood, and visiting the Grand Center office at Whitaker. Summers would fly by, but we always knew that we'd be seeing our friends at the start of the next year. This time, things are different. 
After a few more speakers, we'll be throwing our hats into the air, or not, because Mr. Fisher said that we might get caught in the net, uh, in jubilant ce celebration of the end of an era. Soon we will all go our separate ways, but right now we're still in this gym thinking about what our futures may bring. Maybe we're worried about whether we made the right decision for next year. Tonight, I echo words from Matthew 6 as I tell you not to worry about tomorrow, for tomorrow will worry about itself. Each day has enough trouble of its own. Think about that for a moment. All, with, all that we can control is the way that we are going to act today, because who knows what will change before tomorrow. Finney Town is a special place, and without every person in this room, we would not be the people we are today. I leave you with my sentiments summed up in the words of Winnie the Pooh. How lucky I am to have something that makes saying goodbye so hard. Thank you. to honor our highest ranked vocational student, Ms. Jennifer Wimmers. <laughs> Jenny has been in the surgical technology program at Diamond Oaks the past two years, where she's been a member of the National Technical Honor Society and has earned college credit at Hawking Hills University. She has recently received her Central Sterile Processing Certificate and is planning to attend UC Claremont in the fall for surgical technology. Congratulations, Jenny, on all your accomplishments. <laughs> Finneytown High School has had a number of graduates that have committed to enlisting in America's armed forces. As a sign of encouragement and recognition of this past Monday being Memorial Day, I would like all in the audience who have served our country in a branch of the military to stand and be honored with our students. We owe a debt of gratitude to all of you. This year's class is truly outstanding in its academic pursuits. This class to date, to the best of our knowledge, has accumulated over $3.7 million in scholarships and awards. Many of these scholarships have been awarded for outstanding artistic ability, musical talents, athletics, and as well as academics. I'd like to recognize all students who have received an academic award or scholarship by standing at this time and get for a round of applause. If you received an academic award or scholarship, please stand. be seated. Tonight we continue the tradition as well of honoring uh, students who rank at the top of the academic accomplishment. Uh, you'll see many of the seniors wearing cords. I'm going to identify those cords, ask those students with those appropriate cords to stand. Um, those with the bronze cord, if you could please stand. This represents cum laude. Grade point averages of 4.0 to 4.299. The next level of accomplishment uh, is the silver cord. If you please rise if you have a silver cord. This represents magna cum laude, 4.3 to 4.599. You may be seated. Summa cum laude is gold. If you have a gold cord, you could please stand. This is 4.6 and above TPAs.
At this time, I will welcome back Mr. Fisher for some remarks for the, for the continuation of the program. Good evening again. There's a lot going on up on this podium. You know, we prided ourselves. We stalled enough. Rebecca came in. I said, don't worry, honey. Nobody noticed. And she got up on the podium. She turned to me. And I, I thought she was aggravated that we didn't wait to start. And she said, why, didn't, why did you stall and not start on time? <laughs> She's kind of like me, speeches and things like that. Uh, she lets her actions speak for, and certainly her academic record is impeccable. You know, this is an interesting graduation, and I, I always like to be prepared. Um, I like to be organized. You know, I just like to do things right. So if you'll give me a second, I brought one item to get me through my speech. I think there's been a lottery pretty much all year going. I don't know who's going to win. The, it would have been a great school fundraiser. Uh, the exact moment during the program that I would start crying. We may be there. Uh, it's an honor to have been here for eight years doing graduations. Certainly this one's special. Uh, it's just been an honor to be in Finneytown to be principal. Our staff is just tremendous. These guys, I've tried to tell them over the last couple of weeks, we love them. They have set a bar. If you go back and look at data points, which we, we constantly study data, this class is absolutely unbelievable. And when you have about a, a little over 100, this is our smallest class, we kind of go back up to 120, 130 in the next couple of years. The fact that these guys have learned 3.7 million uh, in scholarships, and there's just a little over a hundred of them, is just absolutely incredible. So they're a tremendous class. They deserve to be honored. Again, I thank staff. You know, I thank people that often don't get mentioned, people like Barb Reichel, my secretary, Bev Anderson, Sherry. I mean, I could go all night. The great people that work in this district and do things for your kids. I decided early this year, back in the fall, that my comments tonight, dang it, <laughs> would be from a dad's perspective. I want to speak just a second as a father, not necessarily the principal. Really, if anybody has an issue with that, I encourage you, because I'm going to make some comments as a dad, not a principal, I encourage you to call the new principal. <laughs> His email is dkennedy at finneytown.org. His direct office line, you want to write this down, is 728-3717. Or 18, not 17, that's my line, 18. First, let me say, I've been incredibly blessed with a great wife and two kids. Micah graduated in 2010, and Molly tonight. Admittedly, they have their mom's good looks and her gentle spirit. Hopefully, I've added something to the mix. Now that they're adults, they're just great people. I've also had the unique blessing of being both my kids' principal. Take my first tissue. Trust me when I tell you it's not something that I've ever taken for granted. It's a privilege. It was something that we weren't necessarily expecting, but it's been an honor and a blessing and a unique one. I know. Not many people get to do this, but I've been able to be here every day with my kids. Many and I made the decision to bring our kids to Finneytown when I was hired. 
and it's a decision we have never regretted. It's not to say it's always been easy. You know, I've gone to I've gone to church all my life, and we used to talk about preacher's kids. My best friend as a kid was a preacher's kid, and we used to say, those preacher kids, but in this case, it's those principal kids. And we've done things like, and I say we, so I don't embarrass them, we've served Wednesday schools, we've served detentions. One of them got sent home for dress code one day. I won't tell you which one it was, but I just was afraid her shorts were too short. <laughs> Being the principal's kids had its burdens, I'm sure, but the positives of being here have far outweighed the negatives. The quality of education received here in Finneytown is second to none. It's not simply the types of courses, the rigor of the coursework. For us, it was just as important to have a diverse environment and a rewarding experience. This is where we as a school excel. Our staff cares very deeply for the students in this community. From the custodians to the administration, helping and supporting our students is goal number one. I could go all night with examples of staff that have come in early, stayed late, done weekends, donated money. We could simply go on for hours about the things that never get mentioned. I know for some, we could point to incidents or things that we've been discouraged about regarding the district but trust me when I tell you the positives far outweigh any negatives. We're not perfect. We've never claimed to be. But I can tell you we try our hardest every day to service your students. And I think if this is the end result, we've done a great job. I want to thank the community for watching out for my kids. They've spent the night at many of your houses, had dinner in your house, hung out with your kids. I'm grateful for your help and your watchful eyes. For my conclusion, I have a surprise. And I've been able to keep this pretty much a secret all year, which is not always easy for me to do. Back in the fall, I heard this song on the way home at the end of a tough day. I knew absolutely at that moment that I wanted this to be part of the graduation. I admit, I'm using my power as a principal to insert this surprise into tonight's program. I admit that I'm using my power as a, as a parent to let my daughter know how much I feel and I love her. I think it's a message that all of you could give your graduates tonight, so I think it's appropriate. So for the conclusion of my remarks, I'm going to turn it over to Ms. Chelsea Lamping and Mr. Sam Osterwich. find a way to make you see the way I do. So I wrote this song for you. You're better than a Beethoven symphony and Mona Lisa wishes she could be a masterpiece like you. More than any Michelangelo, when I look at you I know there's no other masterpiece like you. You are the only one and only you. There 
There's music in your laughter the world has never heard before. You came and brought a melody. The way you say it, the way you see it, when you're sad and glad and so much more. All these gifts only you can bring. And God says it's just not true. So I'll keep reminding you that you're better than a Beethoven symphony. And Mona Lisa wishes she could be a masterpiece like you. More than any Michelangelo, when I look at you, I know there's no other masterpiece like you. You are the only one and only. carefully woven together by God's own hand. You're better than a Beethoven symphony, and Mona Lisa wishes she could be a masterpiece like you. More than any Michelangelo, when I look at you I know there's no other masterpiece like you. You are the only and only you, you are the only one and only you. Attendants, please come forward for the roll call. As we begin the roll call, we would remind everyone to be courteous so that every family may hear the name of their graduate. Everyone get into place. Here we go. It's my pleasure to present these candidates as qualified for graduation. They have met all the requirements put forth by the state of Ohio and the Finneytown Board of Education. I present them to the Board of Education as certified to receive their diplomas. Morelia, Antonia, Allen. Andrew Guy Offrey. Tatiana Iman Baker. Jordan Antonio Ray Bankston. Tiana Hope. Baisley. <laughs> Kelly Grace Bingham. Amber Ashley Boardman. Brittany Nicole Booker. Christopher Allen Bost. Devaney Lynetta Brannon. Joseph Scott Brugemeyer. Bally Eugene Butler. Jeremico Ladon Clifford Jr. Luke James Cobbs. Nicholas Daniel.
Combs. Catherine Margaret Connell. Yancy Yamilith Correas. Christina Danielle Cowan. Aaliyah Monique Culberson. Brennan Marie Eve. Shamira Rajay Gibbons. Kavon Michael Goodman. Mitchell Raymond Gordon. David Monty. Grubs. Joshua Michael Grubs. Juan Marquise Hall. Talia Hansen Stewart. Lindsay Nicole Harmon. Morgan Hepburn Hart. Haley Alice Hatfield. Brittany Nicole Hill. Rebecca Lynn Huff. Jordan Lee Hughes. James Darius Hutzel. Bailey 
Elise Jacobs. Matthew Scott Gent. Deadria Lene Johnson. Peyton Alexandria Jones. Tara Michelle Keller. Nigeria Desiree Kendall. Kayla Sane Larkins. Daniel Sutton Leal. Cassandra Deanne Lee. Jamaica Siobhan Lee. Austin James Lay. Aaron Deontay Lewis. Jeremiah Keir Lowry. Leandra Yvonne McCrary. Shelby Lynn Metz. Kiesia Lachey Mitchell. Brylin Keith Moore. Rachel Caroline Morgan. Sydney Kate Murphy. Pinar Winslow Parker Jr. Daquan Arroy Paris Lee Pruitt. Idris Naeem Reed. Caleb Tamamuli Roberts. Damico Lamar Roberts. Natalia Romping. Colleen Hope Sauer. Kara Grace Sauer. Michael Raymond. Rebecca Ann Snyder. Charles 
Mason Spaulding. Thomas Jeffrey Steele. Bradley David Steinley. William Lee Stiles. Adrian Stump. <laughs> Suzanne Elizabeth Tepe. <laughs> Keisha Ann Thomas. <laughs> Yavanda Kene Trimble. Eugene Walker. Amber Michelle Ward. Jemiah Detrice Watkins. Tyria Marie Wilkerson. Jennifer Nicole Wimmers. <laughs> Jessica Lauren Wobig. <laughs> Samuel Stephen Wolfers. <laughs> Michael Patrick. Woody. William Forrest Young. By the authority vested in me as president of the Finneytown Board of Education, I do hereby declare you to be graduates. Congratulations to the class of We have a couple more orders of business. First, I would ask that you please rise for the singing of the alma mater.
At this time, I'd like to introduce Mr. Joe Brugemeyer. Hey, everybody. Um, for if everyone doesn't know, I am the senior class president of 2014. Yeah. All right. Woo. Now, I prepared the speech from Braveheart, but I was told that doesn't apply to what I'm presenting. So without further ado, um, this is my fourth, you know, fourth year in high school here at Finneytown High School. I've been to four graduations, and there's one thing about graduation I always realize. Everyone wants it outside. I don't know why. It's hot. It's sticky. There's bugs. I don't get it. But we want it outside, gosh darn it. All right? There's something magical about that field, though. All right? Football games, track meets, graduation, sleepovers, soccer games. I meant to say soccer games. Sorry about that one. Um, but there's one thing that's missing out there, and it's clarity. You can't always hear what they're saying, right? So as our senior gift to the wonderful Finneytown High School, we are giving them um, a good chunk of money to get ourselves a new speaker system for the football stadium. And for our last little bit of business here, there is a long-standing tradition that we take, it's from medieval times, we take this tassel and we move it to the other side. So um, if the lovely high schooler 2014 class over there would like to join me, we're going to do it right here. We take from the right side to the left side. And then we politely, and not too high, throw them suckers in the air. Yeah, 2014! For the record, for the record, let it be noted that there's a cap stuck in the batting cage. All right. We would ask that the audience stay in their places as we begin the march outside as graduates. Congratulations. We love you, class of 2014.
Copies of this program are available for $20 each. Send program title along with your address and check or money order to Waycross Community Media. Attention Dub Coordinator, 2086 Waycross Road, Forest Park, Ohio 45240. Or buy securely on the web at www.waycross.tv.